What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for the new Act 4 story mission known as Countermeasures. Now, this will allow us to go into a new Dark Aether portal. Then, once we go into that, we'll be able to go ahead and complete the story mission. And once we complete the story mission, we'll then be able to do something similar to the last one, where we will then be able to actually complete some steps, which is kind of like an Easter egg, to then unlock a Dark Aether portal that we can then go into with our sigil. So the first thing we're going to do is once we actually infill into the match, make sure you are prepared. You can go in with probably Pack-A-Punch 2, I can get away with Epic, but I definitely recommend if you have access to it, go in with the Tier 3 or Pack-A-Punch Level 3. Make sure you guys have a Legendary Tool if you guys have access to it. At this point, you guys should have a stash that's built up a little bit with the expectation that you're going in to do this content. If not, you have the entirety of the match leading up to going into the objective because it is basically an X field that you go over to to kind of get geared up and get ready to go into this mission. So go in as best geared as you can. You guys want a recommended weapon. I'm definitely going to tell you guys to use the Ram 9 at this current point as it's probably my favorite SMG to run and it's going to find a lot of success in the DA. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and put one of your favorite or best weapons on in order to go in to complete this story mission. That way you're best set up for success. But once you guys are actually ready to take on the mission, you'll then open up your TAC map and you're going to look toward the northern point of the high threat zone, kind of near the bridge that leads over to pop off power. That way you guys will then see the little icon that does have this new extract that you can then take as we'll head over to it where you'll initiate it, heading into a new Dark Aether portal. Once you guys actually initiate that, it's going to be very similar to the other story missions that you do. There will be a loading screen loading you into a new instance. And once you guys actually make your way into the new Dark Aether area, you guys will then be given an objective to investigate the nearby distress signal. Now, this should be pretty easy to follow. It's going to send you over to a building. You guys are going to go up to the top floor. You're going to meet with some soldiers. The soldiers are then going to leave. It's going to change your objective then to regroup over at the ACV. You'll then head over to an ACV just like you do an escort contract. You'll activate that. It's going to ask us to escort that ACV to Fletcher's last known location. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy process. It's not more than a few minutes. However, you're going to ride on the ACV or just defend it as it continues to go down the street towards what's going to end up being the mall in its final location or one of its final locations. And what you're basically going to do is, again, just defend it like you would any other escort. And at some point during the process, about halfway to the mall location, it will actually stop and ask you to investigate the interference or the source of the signal disruption. So you guys are going to jump off that ACV to the right. You'll head over to the UAV tower that is emitting some surges of electricity. You guys will interact with it. You guys will then see that a mimic pops out that is a little bit surged with electricity as well. You guys will want to be cautious of this as it will kind of tr be treated sort of like a shock charge. So if you guys do get hit by the electrical blast, it could cause you just to kind of fire your magazine at will and you won't really have any control of your, over your fire. So that way you might actually burn through bullets. It may be a little bit harder to control, obviously, your weapon being stuck in hip fire. So that's something you want to consider. So when you are fighting this mimic, you guys are going to want to be cautious of that. But outside of that, it should be pretty easy to complete, especially if you're in a group. Solo, things are always going to be much more difficult, but I do think it still should be doable. Overall, this mission was significantly easier than something fighting like the worm at the end of one of the other missions we've done. So now once you've actually dealt with that special mimic, you can then head back over to the ACV where you're going to continue to kind of escort it along the road. Now, at this point, your objective has changed to eliminate the source of the disruption. This thing is going to continue to go down the street and eventually the ACV will stop at what they consider a neutralizer. It will then take a little bit of time there. It will then pick up the neutralizer onto the front of the ACV before you guys can then continue to escort it towards that mall location. Once it eventually reaches that mall location, it will then come to a complete stop. Now, this is where you're going to be at the largest infested stronghold in the game at this point which is going to be the entirety of the mall. It's going to be asking us to rescue Fletcher, and there is going to be 15 cysts within the mall that you will have to eliminate. Now, this is actually a lot easier than I was anticipating it was going to be. There are some on the lower level. Definitely check in the stairways, and then you guys are going to make your way up to the second floor, where you then should be able to clear those out pretty easy. Definitely recommend having death perception for this one, as you will be able to see through all of the walls and stuff and be able to see where the cysts are actually located. But I will say, if you're coming in to do this mission, more than likely you should have all the perks as you will be able to go through, again, an entire run before actually making it into this. So make sure you guys are coming in completely prepared when you guys are doing this mission. Now, once you've kind of battled your way through this infested stronghold, which didn't have a ton of zombies, although we did have a squad, so it made it a little bit easier. We were able to work through all of the cysts. It can help to have a durable gas mask. Otherwise, there are tons of gas masks that drop throughout the run. But eventually, you will clear the 15 cysts, and it will just then ask you to regroup at the ACV with Fletcher. You'll make your way back to the ACV. It did take him quite a bit of time to actually make his way back to the ACV, so if you think he's stuck or something, 
You guys could walk into the actual mall location. And you guys should see him finally making his way out. Eventually he makes his way back to the ACB location where you're then gonna continue to escort it as it's asking us to escort Terminus to the anomaly site. So you're basically gonna be taking it over to the soccer field. You guys are familiar with El Masra at all, but honestly, it's pretty straightforward. It's just gonna be having you take that ACV like you would any other escort contract. Eventually it does get to a stopping point. Now at this point, it's gonna actually pop up an Outlast contract right in front of you. It's gonna ask you to activate the PND. You'll obviously go over to it. If you have a squad, it's gonna be easier, of course. You will then activate that PND just like any other Outlast contract you've probably done at this point if you've been playing zombies at all. So you probably should be familiar with these. You'll then just continue to defend this location throughout the entirety of the progress bar leading up to 100%. And if it will take a little bit of time, obviously, to work through it, there are going to be a ton of zombies. Again, you guys should be prepared for it at this point. This could be a good time to have something like a Casimir or even decoys to kind of help you defend against the horde. But again, if you guys come in prepared enough, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yes, we'll just continue to defend the PND until it finishes its progress. Once it does so, it will actually open up a Dark Aether portal where then Fletcher chooses to leave the scene, essentially. And you guys think that everything is wrapped up, but I promise you things are not over yet. There is still one last step. As soon as Fletcher actually manages to flee the scene and the Dark Aether portal disappears, then there is a boss mangler that spawns in. Similar to the mimic we saw earlier, it does have a shock charge ability. It's kind of an overpowered thing. And he does have a health bar at the top of the screen. So you guys will be able to kind of monitor its actual health. Now, it is much more difficult than your typical other elites that you come across, even in the tier three zone, I feel like. But maybe not quite as difficult as something like the Red Worm or even the Worm we had for the other Act 4 mission. Now, again, I was doing this in a squad, so it did make it significantly easier. It is something I would have to try solo in order to determine how difficult it actually is for that. But it did seem a little bit easier than something like the Worm, like I was just saying. So I do feel fairly confident you guys should be able to make your way through it. Now, this fight did seem very, very easy, like I said. So we did breeze through it. There wasn't too many hurdles. I don't really have too too many recommendations again if you have casimirs or something it could help you with the zombie situation if you are running across issues with that but i think with a solid weapon and maybe even a couple of people you shouldn't have too many issues taking on this guy especially if you guys are familiar with the worm but once you guys are actually able to take on the special mangler and eliminate him you've then completed this act four story mission the only thing left for you to do is then escape and leave the dark aether the one thing you're going to want to do before you leave, though, is check the rift as there are some rewards in it. And it will have the first item that you will need for the next step in the process, which will be the Easter egg that I'm going to cover in a separate video. So if you guys are interested in actually doing the Easter egg to unlock the Dark Aether portal, that way you guys can use your sigils and elder sigils to access that area. Make sure you guys come back to the channel as I'm going to cover that in the next video. That way you guys will have easy access guide for that and be able to go through those steps, unlocking this content and being able to complete it. But that's going to wrap things up for today's mission guide. Thank you guys for all supporting today's video, all supporting the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.